Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Margie. And this is our C-Max. Up, up, and away. Hey, everyone. Come join us as we explore the wonders and challenges of amphibious aviation in South Florida and beyond. It's a blast, so come enjoy it with us. Baby, where to today? Hey, good morning, everybody. Mark here. Margie's not around. She's up in uh, Chicago getting ready for her daughter's wedding, which we're all excited for. But it's an absolutely beautiful morning here in South Florida. Greetings from North Perry Airport. Taking our uh, C-Max up. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, splashing and dashing in the uh, lakes and uh, bays down by uh, Greater Miami. Come join us. We're going to have a blast. North Perry Ground, good morning. C-Max 639 or Mike Sierra, Hollywood Aviation, taxi with Sierra will be uh, like a left downwind departure eastbound. Number 639, Mike Sierra, North Perry Ground, runway 28 left, taxi with Lima, cross on way 1 right on Lima. Via Lima to 28 left, we'll cross 1 right on Lima, 9 or Mike Sierra. North Perry Tower, C-Max 639 or Mike Sierra, holding short 28 left, uh, ready for departure. Request left downward departure to the east VFR. In November uh, 639 or Mike Sierra, make a left downward departure, runway 28 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for, two, eight, uh, clear for takeoff, 28 left with a left downward departure, 9 or Mike Sierra. Alright, lights coming on. Pull out here, use all the runway we can. As we pull out onto the runway, we try to use as much available pavement as possible. This gives us the best options for a go-no-go -go decision, as well as provide us with the longest distance in front of us should we have an engine failure after initial liftoff. All right, good RPMs. Pressures and temperatures are good. Airspeed's alive, nose is light, and we're flying. You'll notice we delay gear retraction until all of the runway in front of us is no longer available for landing. All right, available runway is gone. Gear's coming up. Our goal after gear retraction is to climb as quickly as possible to this aircraft's safe altitude for a power off gliding turn back to the departure runway. Are those uh, manatees down there, or what are those? Right down over here. Oh, yeah. I see them. I live in Brickell, right by the river. Oh, and from nice. my balcony, I see them swim by sometimes. I don't usually see them out here very no. much, but... Yeah, that's four yeah. of them right yeah, there. Yeah, four of them. Hang on tight. Watch traffic. Air Rescue 4, currently shoreline southbound at about 300 feet of beam Hollywood Beach. Watch on traffic. Air Rescue 4. Oh. And Watch on Island traffic. Uh, white Amphibian is out of 700 for 500 southbound along the shoreline. Um, up Here's where ADSB really comes in handy for avoiding traffic that's very close proximity to us. And traffic, we got you in sight, we're behind you, and uh, like I said, we'll stay at 300, and we're on the inside of you, right side. Okay, we'll give you a little extra space there, and uh, we'll stay at 500 or above. Roger, we'll stay at 30. What you don't see here, for brevity's sake, is an absolutely critical aspect of water landings, which is surveying the surface and surveying the conditions, looking for any sorts of debris or snags or any conditions that might harm the hull or your floats when you alight into the water. Some other key considerations in your survey are obstructions on the approach path, any people or vehicles in the water, and absolutely having a clear escape route in case you abort the landing.
Very cool. Go on to full display summons. And if you have, a, you'll notice I'm going full deflection on the rudders. Uh -huh. If you have it at like idle like this, you don't get much. Right. If you have it, a little bit of air blowing over makes a big. Oh difference. wow! Yeah. Oh, big we're talking like what? Two hundred RPMs. That's yeah. The, the world. Yeah. And then if I go with the water rudder down, now you'll notice that it's much more oh, yeah. controllable. Yeah. You'll feel the controls stiffen up as well. Right. Airplane does have a tendency to attract attention. I I I can't understand why. It's a sight. Alright. Bring the water rudder up. Water rudder up. One differing aspect between conventional float planes and hulled seaplanes like the C Max in low wind conditions is their tendency to drag a sponson in the water on the initial takeoff run. This obviously creates some yaw and a curved takeoff path. The proper technique for countering this is to allow the aircraft to build up some speed before you attempt to counter it with opposite rudder and aileron. Once you have some speed built up, you can punch in some rudder opposite of the sponson and use your aileron to quickly lift the sponson out of the water and continue on a conventional straight takeoff. Works like a charm. We are flying. Another unique and potentially dangerous aspect of hold seaplanes is their tendency to porpoise when transitioning from displacement onto the step. In the C-Max, the technique is to provide full aft stick or up elevator through the initial takeoff run, relaxing a bit as the hull rises out of the water towards the step. It's usually at this point that the porpoising tries to begin. It's important to quickly provide more aft stick to dampen out the porpoising and continue your acceleration. Once you're up on the step and accelerating appropriately, you can then ease off on the back pressure and fly the aircraft away at about 50 knots. Coordinated turns down low. Close our windows, gear is up still, fuel pumps on, all right. Being a hulled seaplane, the C-Max has its engine mounted above the wing, which places the propeller in much closer proximity to your horizontal and vertical tail surfaces than in a conventional aircraft. As a result, at very low power settings, the propeller disc can blank out airflow across your tail feathers and cause a degradation of controllability. As a result, we carry just a little bit of power into the round out and flare in the C-Max prior to touchdown. This helps tremendously with controllability and yaw and pitch. Just land with a little bit of power. a little bit. Bring some power in. I'll let it drag that way. Right. And then lift with rudder and aileron. I notice I'm relaxing a little bit on the back right. pressure, but as soon as it starts to bounce, right. we're back all the way. When it transitions from the bounce, to we're just dragging our hull in the water. I'm going more neutral. And about 50, you're flying.
Before we get out of that first arc, we'll get the flaps up. One notch. Another big ray over there. And watch it island traffic, white amphibian turning uh, westbound over the shore at uh, Hollywood Beach and uh, last call Watson Island. He's about 3,800 for my initial slowdown. 80 knots is our gear speed. Okay. To go there, gear down. Gear out, fuel pump on. November, fuel pump. Enter Romeo open. Victor, runway 28 right there. The fuel valves are open, and it puts you pretty close to the top of the white arc. Right, right. Got three in the green. You look over your right shoulder, you should see a wheel. Uh, I watched the mirror. November, actually, two in the mirror. For the trap, you're falling, approaching one of our final, the uh, oh. C Max at 900. And again, you, you, you fly this airplane like a little. Like you're doing a glassy water landing. I see. The round out flare. November 6th, we'll fall short. You can start right traffic, runway 1. Wow, two smooth, eight, right smooth. With the option. Short now just to keep this back. I'll get past uh, uh, no, one. Right. That guy. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's Here's that's what I'm looking Here's for. Your future right there. Yeah. Yeah. Well hopefully you'll be flying it soon. Yes. We're looking forward to it. Well now that the fun's over, the work begins. We'll give it a good freshwater rinse followed by an anti-salt product and then again another freshwater rinse before we dry her off and put her away. Thanks for coming out and flying today. We hope you had a good time and uh, we hope you learned a little something along the way. Come see us again. Cheers.